Hi there! Welcome to a new video on the Shoe Redo channel. This is a Q&A Tuesday video where I answer your questions on a Tuesday. So if you have a question in mind, please do write it down in the comments below so maybe I can answer your question in the next video. It can be about quilting, patchwork, about fabric, about running an online business, uh, anything you'd like to ask me. So go ahead and write down your question in the comments below. What is the difference between high shank and low shank sewing machines? So let's dive into this week's question. The question that I got a lot after putting uh, quilting rulers in my webshop is do we have a high shank or a low shank sewing machine? So let me just answer that question in a video so you can check it out with your machine uh, all by yourself to know if you have a high shank or a low shank sewing machine. Here we have a foot on a pretty old sewing machine and um, it's a little bit dusty, haven't used it in a while and uh, normally you foot, your foot is up but to see um, if your machine is high shank or low shank you need to lower your foot and then measure uh, the height of this thumb screw so the screw that is keeping your foot in place let's first unscrew this and this hole over here that is what you need to uh, pay attention to what you can do is measure how high um, what yeah what the height is of that hole and I didn't have a ruler that fitted under here so I just marked this paper with um, some inch measurements there we go um, so um, the measurement you're looking for is if this screw is at a half an inch or one inch that is uh, or, or above one inch so when it is at half an inch height then your machine is low shank and when it is above one inch height then it is high shank and what that means is that I don't have a ruler foot for this machine but uh, if you imagine this to be a ruler foot so this foot is attached to the machine with the screw of course so let's put this in place so this is attached um, uh, it is all about the space that we have at the back. The reason you want to know this is because you want to know if there's enough room around uh, your foot for a thick ruler, so a quarter inch thick ruler, a, uh, that is a high shank ruler, or if there's not enough space for that, then you want to use a low shank ruler, which is an eighth of an inch. So here I have my Bernina 72 ruler foot and this one um, is compatible with high shank rulers and why that is the case is because thick rulers can easily move around uh, the back of the ruler. Um, so this one is adjustable in height. Um, so I can adjust it depending on the thickness of my quilt but as you can see even my finger fits under here uh, now there's no quilt um, but of course this is a little bit higher when there's a quilt in place but there is enough room for this ruler to be at the back of my ruler foot um, when uh, this was a low shank machine um, this uh, back part of the foot would be lower and then there would be not enough room for this thick ruler to be behind um, and go around my ruler foot. And that is why they made thinner low shank rulers. So you have a thinner ruler that will fit uh, behind and around a low shank machine with a uh, ruler foot on it. I hope that helps and that it gives you a little bit more insight in uh, how you s can see if you have a low shank or high shank sewing machine. So you can keep in mind that Berninas are a little bit different. It depends on if you can use the uh, Rule of Food 72 on your machine. So if you know from your dealer that that fits. Um, 
then you can use high shank rulers, so the thicker rulers. If you have a very old sewing machine like the one that I showed you, then it's probably going to be low shank and then you need those thinner rulers. But yeah, just uh, go ahead and lower your foot, unscrew it and then measure uh, what height the uh, hole is. And that is how you know what type of ruler you need to order.